The Grinch visited America, and here's exactly what happened. Colorado made the decision for the whole state, regardless of how you feel, that Donald Trump is not allowed on the ballot. That's right. One of our 50 states has decided for the whole population of their community, no Trump, even though he's basically, what was it, 47% of people voted for Trump last uh, election and 51% sent in their ballots all through the mail to vote for Biden, right? But Colorado is now using some amendment, I believe it's the 14th Amendment, saying we've decided you can't have a president who tried to do an insurrection and take over the country on the ballot. Now, he has not been found guilty of even holding an insurrection. He didn't send 3,000 t-ball coaches and soccer moms to the Capitol and tell them to peacefully and patriotically protest the election unarmed and then expect them to take over the Capitol and what, hold a banana to Nancy Pelosi's head and say, all right, hand over the White House too. We'd be like, just take her. She's already making business deals on the side anyway. So here is the news report that you need to know. And let me know, how angry are you that Colorado has decided for you, Coloradans, that you don't get to vote for the number one political opponent of Joe Biden? Watch the video. Historic first, the Colorado Supreme Court disqualifying President Trump from their state's 2024 primary ballot. The 14th Amendment of the Constitution says office holders cannot support insurrection. And the judges say that Trump did that with his actions on January 6th. Trump campaign calling the ruling a, quote, scheme to interfere in an election on behalf of crooked Joe Biden. You want to talk about the most interfered election of all time? It's this one coming up next, okay? You guys got to wake up a little bit. Now, it's not like all of Colorado decided this. The Supreme Court in Colorado decided this, and it was a four to three vote. What does that mean? Four judges, probably Democrats, thought, yeah, this guy can't be on the ballot. Three said, yes, he can. Four to three, that's how they won it. Now, do you think that's fair? In a murder trial, I could murder my friend Victor right now. We go to court. It's not on camera because he's a little bit off camera there. And if the jury says, a lot, he has 12 people on a jury. If 11 people said he did it, he had a, the blood in there, he did it, he got rid of Victor and one jury member is like, I don't believe in the death penalty, so I'm sorry, I can't convict. I walk 11 to 1. But in the Supreme Court, 4 to 3, a split decision, basically. And they just assassinated the president's chances in Colorado. Now, this is probably going to go all the way up to the Supreme Court. I just want to know why killers get more favoritism in court than a guy who just wants to make America great again, folks. That's what we're trying to do. Let me ask you right here. Do you believe it's fair that I've been taken off the Colorado ballot? I don't think it's fair at all. I think this is crooked Joe Biden and Hillary getting involved. And if they beat me so easily, why not just run against me again, folks? Huh? Hey, that was cool. Thank you, Donald Trump, for tuning in to my show. We'll be back with a whole lot more from The Right Show right after this. Hey, we hope you enjoyed that short clip. Now, click subscribe and click on the bell so you get all the notifications.